<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. There's just something magical about Honda small bores. I don't know what it is. I can't put a finger on it, but good lord, is it fun. Hey, Downstater here. So today we are reviewing a bike that has been a long time coming. This is the Honda Monkey 125. There are few motorcycles in the world right now that have gotten me as excited as this bike has, and I'll get into exactly why. Starting in 2019, Honda really took it up another step and brought out this little pisser right here. A pudgy retro mini bike built for a grown ass man. Honda, I love you. Thank you for doing this because it is everything I thought it would be. Uh, it, it's fun, it's affordable, it's capable, uh, it's, it's cool looking, it's, ah. It makes me happy. There are a few motorcycles that I look at these days and I'm like, oh, I need that. This is one of them. When it comes to our modern motorcycle offerings that are available in this country and others, to be honest, there are so many that are well outside of budgets, outside of, you know, uh, abilities, you know, um, features that you really don't need, performance most people don't need or want in some situations. And it's just a beautiful thing to see what Honda and some other manufacturers have started to do. They're bringing back the original small bore, do it all Japanese motorcycles. If you've been watching some of my videos, you'll probably know that my motorcycle career really kind of started a little under 30 years ago on bikes just like this. In fact, I have the original bike I started on, the Z50, uh, as a blueprint on my arm. You know, I, I love these bikes. These are, these are kind of near and dear to my heart. I can say that without a doubt, Honda has done a real service to not just myself, but motorcycles around the world uh, with bikes like this. These not only serve as basic transportation, but they've also basically aided thousands and millions of riders into the sport. I really have to credit Honda a lot for why I'm at I'm where I'm at and why I have the sport I love. The beautiful thing about this is that they are kind of bringing a renaissance for riders myself, like myself. Unfortunately, I'm one of the old guys now. I hate to say it, but it's true. Uh, I'm almost 40 and Honda was not stupid with what they're doing. They realized, oh crap, all those kids that started on Z50s, they're adults now, and they're probably going to want to hop back on something pretty similar to that bike. Well, that's basically what this is. It's a Honda Z50 with a plate for an adult, and it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. When it comes to smiles per mile, there really is no competitor to what a Honda small bore will do. I, I cannot think of another motorcycle, maybe besides some of the mopeds, the pooks, some of the older, you know, earlier mopeds from back in the day, who have provided cheap, efficient, fun, and, uh, and just pretty capable performance from such a small package. Um, and Honda was definitely the leader in the, the kind of small bore, shiftable, kind of mini uh, motorcycle segment. And I just love the fact that they have really kind of made a rebirth with it and, and brought us a product that isn't just lipstick on a pig. They really kind of redid the whole thing built a larger frame, better suspension, more capable, made it street legal, fuel injection, better brakes, the whole nine yards, so that 180 pound guy like me is perfectly at home on this motorcycle. Uh, do I look a little silly? Yeah. Do I care? No, not at all. It is so fun and such a good time. This bike is truly uh, a bike that can keep a lot of people happy for a very long time. Uh, and on top of that, you know, let's be honest, how cool is this thing? A retro mini Honda that's street legal and actually has the power and, and suspension to move a 180 pound American man or woman. I mean, that is a rare commodity in these days. You know, it's, it's, you're either buying $15,000 ADV bikes, $20,000 sport bikes, or, you know, non-street legal dirt bikes you know th this is a, a cool little commodity and we're I, I truly think we are lucky uh not just in this country but in others who got this bike to have it it's something honda didn't need to do but i also think if i'm being really honest honda is seeing a huge boon to their 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 sales with these bikes that's why they came out with the ct125 this year uh that's why they came out with 
a lot of the kind of new generations of the Grom um, and other companies have followed suit. They all see the writing on the wall with these minis. They're fun. They're capable. They're affordable. They look cool. I mean, they, they're just... It's such a great segment, and I am really all on board at this point. You know, I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant at first. I was thinking, ah, you know, it's a 125. Uh, I'm a bigger guy. Um, you know, it's not going to be able to move. It's going to be really pokey and not fun to ride. Blah, 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 blah. I had all my misconceptions early on, like most of us do. But the reality is, after throwing a leg on the saddle and really getting some time on this bike, uh, I have absolutely 100% fallen in love. It's such a beautiful little ripper. Um, and, and so much so that, for sure, I can say that I will be getting either the uh, the CT125 or one of these monkeys within the next year or two. I can, I can say that without a doubt. Uh, it's that good of a bike. It's that fun. It's that enjoyable. Um, and it's, it's this is the kind of machine where... You know, you could just, I could see myself just spending a, a kind of a ridiculous amount of time on this thing. You know, uh, I would definitely prefer, to be honest, to take this motorcycle to town to grab a coffee or get a haircut than my big adventure bike or obviously my dual sport. You know, why would I do that? This is a fun little pokey bike that you can do legally, safely, and just, it's so fun. I can't stress that enough. You know, the, the ergonomics and, and just everything about it. I mean, this is literally a kid's mini bike with good brakes, good suspension, more power, um, you know, and built for an adult, right? That is a beautiful thing. I mean, good Lord, Honda, I owe you a debt of gratitude because you have made my next favorite bike right here. Uh, I'm looking forward to the CT125 too. That should be hopefully coming soon in a review. That's, uh, that's definitely a goal here. So back in 2014, Honda blew myself and many other people away with a bike called the Honda Grom. It was a, a 125cc carbureted, kind of similar, a little pisser of a bike, right? It was uh, it was street legal. It had a bigger frame than the mini bikes of, the, of back in the day, and uh, it was built for adults to just go around and have fun on. Early on, it didn't sell insanely well, but it really started to gain momentum, and I think Honda really saw that market um, over the years. They have built that market to the point where there are other manufacturers, Taiwanese manufacturers, other, other big you know, Japanese manufacturers. Kawasaki's gotten in on it. I have a feeling Yamaha's gonna get in on it pretty soon here. Uh, and, and others are really seeing the benefit of stepping away from scooters. You know, eh, they're not so fun, not too cool. And also stepping, I guess, down from you know, the larger scale motorcycles to something that's a little more approachable and fun, let's be honest. Uh, like I mentioned during the ride videos, I, I I'm more apt to ride a bike like this to go get a haircut than to hop on my big 1,000cc Africa Twin. That's just honest truth. It's just more fun to do this for a little bebop around town than bring out my big adventure bike, right? Same thing goes with a dual sport. I'm not gonna chew up my knobby tires going to run errands or going to a restaurant with a friend. Uh, I'd rather take a bike like this that's really built for just kind of running around town. The cool thing about this, especially the, the monkey, is that you can also strap this on the back of your camper and go explore the country with it. That is cool. It's very capable, not just on the road, but off the road as well. Weighing in at 220 pounds, offering a full 9.5 blistering horsepower, optional ABS, electric fuel injection, real suspension, and overall just a shrunk down real motorcycle frame, this bike it offers a lot more than what you would call a retro mini, as Honda likes to call it. It's truly a motorcycle, just in a smaller frame. Um, and after really throwing a leg over it and putting down some miles, both off-road and on-road, I can say that unequivocally, uh, I would ride this as a motorcycle, not as just kind of a toy or as a mini bike, for instance. Um, now this bike in front of me was, is a loaner from a friend. It does have a couple extra parts, so if you heard the exhaust while I was riding, yep, that's aftermarket. Suspension is a little stiffer. Um, it does have knobby tires, uh, pegs, and that's about it. The reality is this is about what you would get when you buy this machine, and I can tell you for sure, it's extremely comfortable, capable, both on-road and off-road. I definitely wouldn't put this bike on the highway. Uh, it, it simply cannot do the speeds you would need, and it's a little too small to really handle that kind of wind buffeting and traffic and, and all that kind of stuff that goes on on a real highway. But a 50 mile an hour road, no problem at all. It's extremely stable. So don't, if you're, if you're in the market and you're kind of looking around and wondering what you want to do, 
uh, definitely don't hesitate uh, in terms of that. Um, if you're going to be riding, you know, mixed use roads like we have up here, uh, no problem. Again, very stable on dirt, very stable on gravel, no issue at all. Uh, if you're a van lifer, an RVer, um, somebody who is moving around the country, I can't think of a better bike to strap on the back of your rig than this guy right here. It's so capable, but it's still lightweight. It's still something you can spin around on a dime. You can throw it up on a hitch, uh, a hitch carrier without bending it. Um, and, and put a big rack on and go grab lunch in town. I mean, it's just, it's, it's such an ultimate motorcycle in so many ways. And I really can't stress enough, while, while it's very capable on-road, it's also a real hoot off-road. And you probably heard it in my voice when I was going around some of these turns, doing the little wheelie up the hill. It is just fun. It brings me back to my childhood. Uh, but in a package that isn't just a toy, again, it, it actually has a plate. It actually has the ability to serve more purpose than just putting a smile on my face. You know, I don't have the budget to just buy things that put smiles on my face. I need something that can actually serve other purposes, and this absolutely does. Uh, now, you're probably wondering, okay, it's all upsides. This thing's great, right? All, all, all downstaters are saying that it's, it's good, good, good. Well, no, there are some downsides here. One, I mentioned earlier, it is fairly heavy for a smaller bike like this. Uh, 230 pounds is, I wouldn't call it light. It's not heavy, but it's not light either. You feel the weight. That's a great thing on the road. Off-road, you feel it a little more than I would like to see, but you kind of, it's a give and take kind of thing. It's almost like, a, like an all steel uh, dual sport, right? It's gonna give you a little bit more stability on the road, but it's gonna hurt you a little bit off-road. Now, depending on what you're doing, probably won't be a big issue, issue for you. The other thing I don't like is the four-speed transmission. On the road, uh, you're definitely gonna run out of power. You're gonna run out of motor, basically, and, and gears. Um, they did address that, though, in the 2022 version that's coming out right now. So that model is going to have a five-speed transmission. They also replaced the oil filter on the new model, so that is a big deal. Uh, and it's something that I think will really make a lot of people happy about this bike. Otherwise, the 2022 is basically this exact motorcycle, um, pound for pound. Well, that about wraps it up for the Honda Monkey 125. Overall, I am a huge fan of this bike, and I would suggest it for both, you know, advanced riders and beginners alike. It's a great first bike or a great second, third, or fourth bike. Um, yeah, I lost the outro, so unfortunately this B-roll will have to suffice, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll check you on the next one.